If anybody has any problems, now it's time to bring them up. This is the family hour. The family hour. What a great idea for a radio show. Every week you get to hear different families talk about their problems. And you get to hear different recipes. Watch, watch, watch. <clears throat> WBAS presents Dinner at Brighton Beach with tonight's family, the Jacob Jerome family, and our specialty, liver and cabbage, brought to you by Exxon. Come on, I'm not sure. Nobody has any problems. Nobody has anything to discuss. Well, as a matter of fact, what? I grew up in a family of 
four children. My father, before he died, could never remember our names. My older brother was a big one, and I was a little one. And he was a skinny one, and so was a rotten one. Which one was I? The pretty one. What's the problem? I've never seen you cry over something that wasn't important. Now, I know I'm not your father. It's not my place to make decisions for you. But I can offer advice. Advice is free. If you don't like it, you can always return it. Should we walk down to the beach? Sure. My father always used to say, throw your problems out of the sea, and the answer will wash back on the shore. Did they? Not on the right beach. <laughs> or because the watermelon gets washed up. That's why it's good to take so you get good advice. Will you stop that? I'm trying to think. Sheesh. Well, wow. your problems. Or would you like an official American League baseball stuff in your life? Listen, Stan, I've got to talk to you. I mean, a real serious talk. Everybody needs to talk to somebody in this house. Take your number and wait your turn. Well, I had this dream last night. It was about this girl. I can't tell you her name, but she was gorgeous. Trust me. We were really rubbing up against each other and <laughs> kissing really hard. And all of a sudden I felt this tremendous build-up, like the end of the 39 steps. Well, all of a sudden there was this explosion. <laughs> like everything had flushed out to sea. Oh, oh man, let me tell you, it's the greatest feeling ever. <laughs> but when I woke up, I was all, I was all wet. Yeah, how'd you know? Yeah, you're wet, Jim. I get them all the time. <laughs> you guys tell me why that happens to you? Yeah, you never had one before? Well, yeah, but I slept through it. Did you ever try to do it by yourself? What do you mean? Did you ever try to diddle with yourself? <laughs> No, no, no. Hold on, me. I need to get away with yourself three, four times a week. Stanley, you don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy. Okay, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Taking care of business? Hey, just don't say that. Why am I here? It's natural. Everybody does it at our age. Everybody? You mean you know guys who do it too? Everybody <laughs> does it. It's like a hassle flight to me. Back then, he does it to other guys. I can't believe I'm having this conversation right now. You can't go through life without it. Your voice won't change. What? Where do you get this stuff from? It's puberty. What? Puberty? Haven't you ever read books? Well, yeah, The Citadel by A.J. Cronin. Never mentioned puberty. Even Pop did. Pop? Our Pop? No, no! Okay, Stan, you think you're full of shit. Hey! Don't say that word, you're just a kid. Never let me hear you say that word again. I don't get you. You can say puberty, but I can't say puberty. Hey! Do it later. I have cramps, maybe you should do it in color. Eugene! <laughs> Eugene! 
dealing with a major problem right now, okay? I don't have time to draw girls taking care of business for you. Boy, can I make some money off you? Do you think she's in the bathroom seven times a day just taking showers? She doesn't have the bathroom! I knew two girls that did it at school. One girl did it on her final English exam and she got a 98 on her paper. Oh. Is that the girl you were thinking about? Uh, no, it was one of the beach girls. No, 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 I see what's going on. I see why you dropped me nasty 12 times at dinner. She drives me crazy. I'm in love with her. Yeah, I won't forget it. She's your cousin. What's wrong with being in love with your cousin? It's against the laws of nature. If she was your stepsister, it'd be nasty, but okay. <laughs> Just take my advice.